Hey guys, Kevin here, and welcome back to yet another tribute video. So, uh, yeah, yesterday, you know what I did? I mean, yesterday I was, uh, I was just, uh, I wanted to go to the official Eurovision shop to buy a couple of things from there. But before I got there, when I accessed the official website for Eurovision, it came up with this. Yeah, look, guys, Franz Gall, Luxembourg's um, Eurovision is 1965 winner, dies at 70. So, earlier today. Um, no, that was, that was posted yesterday, as you can see, at about 1 p.m. So, um, uh, yeah, yesterday she died, and, um, uh, let me just click on this article real quick. So, if you don't know her, um, let's see. Franz Gall, who won, um, uh, the 1965 uh, Eurovision Saga from Poupa de Seal, Poupa de Son, passed away earlier today at 70. According to media sources, Gall died from an, of an infection while suffering from cancer, once again, just like Yuri uh, 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 Fabian, in the American Hospital of Paris in, um, New... I, I can't say that, in France. Let's just say that. So, um, um, coming from a musical family, she had her first hit at age 16. In 1965, she was chosen, uh, chosen to represent Luxembourg at the Eurovision Song Contest in Naples, in Italy. The small country lined up between Belgium, France, and Germany, often had to rely on talent from outside. Out of 10 songs, Gal picked Poupe de Sia Poupe de Son, penned by the famous French singer-songwriter Serge Gansburg, who, uh, who she would continue to work with throughout a significant part of her career. Yep. So, Gao received points from 10 um, out of the 18 participating countries. With 32 points, she won the causes at a safe distance from the runner-up, the UK, who only received 26 points. It brought Luxembourg its second victory in the contest. Yep, we've got the Eurovision milestones, 1965. So, um, yep, we've also got this. Um, here it is, personal tragedy. In 1992, Franz Gall lost her husband, singer-songwriter Michael Berger, who suffered from a fatal heart attack during a tennis match. The following year, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, from which she recovered from. Gall had two children, the youngest of which, Pauline, died of cystic fibrosis in 1997 at age 19. Her son, Raphael, is pursuing a successful career in the music industry. Reactions. Reactions to Gal's uh, death have been uh, coming in from around the world. French President um, Emmanuel Macron paid tribute to her humanitarian uh, work, as well as her musical legacy. Uh, Eduardo Grassi, head of delegation at the Eurovision Soccer for France, reacted to France Gal's death of Don Twitter with great sadness. And Dutch radio legend Eric de Zwart speaks of a childhood hero who passed away, and this is the... The original song. I'm gonna put a link in the, um, uh, the, in the description to this original song. It's only about two minutes and fifty seconds long. Uh, on behalf of the entire Eurovision community, we wish to extend our deepest condolences uh, to France, um, uh, the France girls' loved ones. Yep, definitely. And of course, Poupe de Sia, Poupe de Sol wasn't only the um, uh, the biggest hit for France Gall. She also had many other hits. So um, uh, let's see. Uh, we've got German language career. Yep. Uh, we've got um. Uh, Another one of her songs called, um, Ella Ella La. I don't know, I don't speak French, but whatever. And then, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, she was really successful, I must say. And it's a shame that she died. I mean, um, like, seriously, let me show you guys something. You know, guys, a lot of Eurovision winners died. So, um, uh, like, like Corey Brooken, who won from the Netherlands in 1957. Andre Clever, who won for France in 1958, the following year. Teddy Shelton, who won for the Netherlands in 1959, once again the following year. Jean-Claude Pascal, who won for Luxembourg in 1961. Greta and Jürgen Ingmann, who won for um, Denmark in 1963. Udo Jürgens, who won for Austria in 1966. And Frida Bocara, who was one of the four winners of the 1969 contest. I mean, she was... You know, for France and and uh, and Spain and the United Kingdom and the Netherlands also won that same year. As you know, that's still the the really memorable f uh, four way tie in the contest. And now we've got front scale. That's just great. Not. Yeah, guys. I just wanted to make this video because why not? I had to. So uh, I don't know if there's okay, guys. There's not going to be a new video yesterday. Uh, I mean tomorrow. Okay. So I don't know when the next video will be. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So we will see you, I don't know when, until then, bye.